Welcome back to Do You Love Your Mother and Her Two Multi Hit Attacks in the review episode number four. This one covering episodes seven and eight, which they are titled Students are protagonists of a school festival, but people wearing school uniforms are included too. That's episode seven. If I say nothing, it won't be hard, but if I say something, it'll be a critical hit. It sucks being a family. Now, these two are connected episodes because the end of episode 7 does lead to episode 8. Now, there is a tiny bit of dialogue cut from the teacher from this episode where he mentions he's just a few gigabyte of data and the fact that Met Mystico bring up the fact he doesn't really care the fact he's a few kilobyte of data. Yeah, it's kind of odd they cut that out. I guess they cut it out because it wasn't necessary. Because here's the thing the teacher. Briefly appears at the start of the episode, and then he's never seen again. For good reason, because he's not in the rest of the book. So, we have the school festival episode. Of course we have to have one of these. Because it's typical Japanese anime. Of course we have to have one of these. So, so basically, Miss uh, Memiko comes to an interesting idea for her and her party to do. Run a cafe. Except the customs more like they're running things. And, and, the, and the cafe is called, get this, Mommy's Back. And I'm thinking, that same year cafe, Mommy's Back. Now, typically in other anime I've seen, usually they set up cafes like this for school festivals in classrooms. They don't usually set them up like outside in separate buildings. That's what I've seen in a lot of the anime I've covered when it comes to having cafes, especially made cafes. So... And we see that, well, apparently, Mystico, what was I going to mention? Where, like, my, her mother is like, oh, we got green customers over here because nobody's over here. So, got to change her some. So, she basically shreds the clothing she's wearing. Where she all she's wearing is a pair of panties. And because Mystico just happened to walk in when this happened, she kills him. Turns to a spirit. And apparently her plan is to simply, get this, seduce him in order to get customers over to her cafe. Really? That's the reason why you send your beautiful daughter to seduce this guy? Just for customers? Oh yeah, and it's very heavily implied she does have feelings for Mystico. Because they go around the school, and then near the school stairway, which... Yes, high schools and a lot of the anime I've seen do have stairways like this. Like every single one of them do. So, Mystico reveals to Michi that, Michi, that she, he does know about the plan, told what her mother's plan to do. And then, of course, they basically, like, take a fight. Yeah. So... Which I think you so then we have the and of course like so this beauty contest she participates and she gets 90 points port does not participate this by being a beautiful very beautiful woman she is now wise does participate in this and she gets like 10 points memico goes on the stage gets these wise's fire powers in order to heat up the pot and basically just by announcing she's going to be cooking this stuff Apparently, the students, like, voted her the winner. Not surprising, because Memico is hot. So then, of course, we have Mystico dragging Mitmichi over to a tree. The chat where it's revealed that apparently that... Well, they have a chat for a bit where they know about what she's doing and, of course, how, how much not good of a mother she is. And then she reveals something, and then, of course... Mitchie's mayor comes in, says that her she's that basically she says I'm very selfish that she wants to be the one mom in order to to do her own personal gain. That takes off Mitchie enough to transform her into a freaking dragon. Yes, because she had all this darkness built up. She actually hinted this a little bit earlier that she had this darkness ever and manifested this dragon. And of course, Mimiko steps in when of course Mitchie tries to stop them. And she ends up chatting with her and convinced her to basically change her ways. And it turns out she's being influenced by the staff she has. Yes. 
what ends up being destroyed, thanks, of course, to Memico and Mystico's attacks. And, of course, Mechi is caught by her mother when she tries to put herself in a shell. And, of course, this is going to figure out. And then, of course, they kind of wrap up their plot by the end of the episode where she logs out and Mechi stays behind. Unlike in the case of Y, she just does a, just automatically off screen. This one, they say, yeah, we want you to join, join the party. And, and of course, Mechi was like, no, I have to leave a blog, basically, I make. I have to delete my dark, my dark legacy. So she says she'll leave in exchange for having her daughter join the party, which she does. Excuse me. And I think that's pretty much it because there was a bit that basically that, that they had toward the end of the light novel. I think as far as I can tell, 8 was where they wrap up here, I think. I have like a guess at that because I assume that anyways. It could be episode 9, so you can probably see the episode preview for that tomorrow. Yep. The episodes were pretty good, except that this last episode felt like a retread of episode 4. Yeah, it felt like an exact retread. And I'm thinking, really? Why are we retreading episode 4? With the whole thing of, oh, let's have the mother be evil. Let's have the evil mother. Except that they had her show up in episode 5, the same episode her daughter showed up and said, why is this mother? Where she showed up, I believe it was episode 2. And her mother didn't show up until the end of episode 3. At least they had her basically there the whole period of time. I gotta say, for what they adapted for these two episodes, it's pretty good. And from what I can tell, they didn't cut much of anything else. Except, aside from some dialogue, there's nothing really major to cut off here. There was a bit at the end of the book, which I don't think made this episode. I don't think it did. But did it make next episode? I don't really know. It's distinctly possible. Mm-hmm. And if you use new abilities, like, like she gets a bunch of like new abilities in like there's like mother's words, which apparently just swoops over Meshi's mother. Yeah, but in the case of characters overall, I believe there's like one other one that does show up in the series. Yes. I think there's like one more. Yeah, I'm thinking there's like one more character that show up in the series in like episode 9. Possibly yes, but who knows? It just depends. Yep. So yeah, that's it for Circle of You. And that's going to be pretty much it for videos today. Uh, stay tuned for tomorrow for possibly maybe another video for this one. But it will depend upon exactly what I find out for this episode. So, until you see you tomorrow. Bye.